Welcome back to ABC 7 at 6. I'm Paul Cicala. And I'm Stephanie Valle. Fort Bliss has long been a training ground for soldiers to get real life desert training. But now technology made it possible for soldiers to train without setting foot on the range. And the warrior skills trainers keep Fort Bliss on the map as a top tier desert training area. ABC 7's Krista Mack brings us the story. With expansive landscapes, real-world weapons, and Humvees, soldiers at Fort Bliss now train virtually using the Warrior Skills Trainer. The system offers training on crew-level tasks such as mounted machine gun firing. It offers an immersive training environment that puts trainees in high-stress virtual scenarios. Army combat veteran and certified trainer Duncan Manning says... It helps the soldier prepare for combat. Um, they can work on that communication and get that down pat. They go from here to an actual range. That way they can qualify. All weapons, from machine guns to grenade launchers, are made with real parts and have realistic sounds and recoil, but don't fire real rounds. This training center not only serves military members, it also serves and trains our local law enforcement. Army veteran and certified trainer Alex Belknap says. They learn a lot when they come in here, and, they, and other, another thing is they'll learn from each other as well as from some of us. Like, we were in the Army for a long time, so a lot of times we'll wear will share with them our experiences. The system has flight simulators and realistic shoot, don't shoot simulators where users face off against active shooters. The Army believes this system reduces accidents and adds a layer of safety by limiting field maneuvers. You don't have to worry about accidents. Of course, there's always a possibility, but nowhere near as much as if you're out in the train area moving around at night and around heavy vehicles and stuff because they're just dangerous by nature. Looking back on his own career, Belknap says... I, mean, I wish I'd had it when I was uh, trained soldiers as a non-commissioned officer in the Army myself, but it just didn't exist. Krista Mack, ABC7. Thank you, Krista.